Hi there, in this video I will show you how to make a snack stadium. So it's a really simple way of actually having your snacks out ready for the football. So you can make this whatever size you want. This one is just under A3 size. I printed out the pitch and the crowd on two sheets of A4 paper and just stuck them together. But you can make it as big as you want. This is only for like two people. So it didn't need to be massive. And I cut out the exact same shape on a piece of cardboard and I'm going to stick this to that and this is going to be the base. So like I say, if you're going to have a big party or something, you can make this actually a lot bigger. So I'm not going to give you the dimensions because just customise that the size you want it. So I'm just going to stick some glue on the back of this. I'm not going to like completely cover it though because I'm actually going to go over this with... Um, Self-adhesive paper, uh, plastic, made a mistake already. So I'm just going to use some prick stick just to glue this down. Don't need anything super strong. Sticky back plastic, that's what I'm using. <laughs> In a sec. I'm just going to stick this down to the base. So what do you need to use the then? But you can't guess which one I does. I do. <laughs> okay, so just flatten this down. I don't want any creases in it. Then I'm going to cover it in sticky back plastic. This is so when I put food on it, it's not going to get greasy. It can easily be wiped clean and it can be used again and again and again. If you just want to use it once, you can actually take it all apart, pop it in the recycling. But you can actually, because it's going to be covered in plastic, the other bits are actually going to be covered in aluminium foil um, you can actually wipe it over and use it again after so carefully done this even though it ended up with a lot of wrinkles in it and then I'm going to fold over the plastic on the bottom I'm just going to cut slits where the corners are so when I fold it over it folds over nice and straight there's no wrinkles in it. I'm going to do this all the way around. And then that will be the base done. Let's get a bit fiddly because it's all sticky. <laughs> and then comes actually making the little sections. So I'm going to just measure around the pitch first. And then I'm going to create little walls to go around it. Um, so these are the ones I'm creating for that. These are two inches tall. So you go the width of the pitch and then however high you want it. Depending on what food you're going to put it, if you're going to put sandwiches and stuff, you might actually want it a bit taller. You also want to make the walls for the outside. So I doubled the size for those and they're actually four inches. So you want the outside bigger than the inside. Again, depending on what food you want in there, how big how high you're going to have it and if you really want to kind of put loads in it then you're going to want dividers so measure the outside wall to the inside wall that's how thick it's going to be and the front bit is going to be as tall as that wall so you want it the same height as that wall and then the back is going to be the same height as the back wall and then just draw a diagonal line from the back wall to the front wall and cut it. And that's how you make the individual little dividers. And just do as many of those as you want, depending on how many different things you want in this stadium. I think I've done about 10 of them. And then each bit of the cardboard sections you want to cover in aluminium foil. So this is actually the time consuming bit. I'm just again using the Pritt stick to cover it. I actually went through one and a bit for this whole thing. So if you're actually making a big one, you're going to need a few if you're going to use Pritt. Unless you've got the bigger ones, I only had the small ones. So I'm going to make sure these are all completely covered and cut off the excess that's left. 
and I say you want to do this to all the bits of uh, cardboard that you've cut out, so all the walls and the divided parts. And this aluminium foil again is going to be wiped clean, so once you've used it, wipe it over, get some nice hot soapy water, just wipe it over, and you can use it again and again. Which I've said again and again. So once you've done them, it's time to attach them to the base. Easiest pie, the easiest way to do this is using a hot glue gun. Just start off with the inner walls, I find it easier. So around the pitch, I just use the hot glue gun. It didn't actually reach to the camera, that's why I done it off camera. I hold these in place for a few seconds and it stays. I haven't got the patience to use any wet glue or anything. So I start off with the walls around the pitch, then I actually put the dividers in where I want them, so I attach them to the bottom and the pit wall, and then I stuck on the outer walls. I found it a lot less fiddly doing it that way rather than working outwards in from the outwards like inwards type thing. But do it whichever way around you feel most comfortable with. Because you might want to put the outside walls and the pitch first and then decide where you want the dividers so it's all up to you but that's it you just assemble it take your time and that is pretty much done what you have to do is fill it with sweets or savory goods sandwiches whatever you like to eat for when you're watching a game so what is your favorite snack there you go this is mine done and it's all ready for the season so thanks you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!